So solving the question on the screen, the very first thing you are going to do is to produce an horizontal line in this one. Okay, so after producing that, let's produce the uh, front elevation, which we are actually seeing at the top there. Okay, so I'm going to make this very mark here as my mark A. Okay, so we are told that the uh, base, yeah, the base of that hexagonal pyramid is what is 52 AC. So what does the AC signify? It signifies that it's what across corner, across corner, all right? So this is my point B. Okay, and we are told that the total height is what 40 plus 20. That's what that's 60. That's 60. So with my compass, I measure a uh, length of 60 mm. All right. Place it on point A, my first arc, with the same map of 60 mm on point B right here. Okay. So having the bisector here, I'm going to uh draw it with thin line first of all right that's it okay so uh to make it uh complete half of 52 is what that's 26 so i'm going to locate the midpoint which is this 26 all right then from that midpoint i'm picking 13 towards the left and 13 towards the right from that midpoint, okay? Okay, having it in that manner, I'm going to drag it to the what? To the apex. 10 line, 10 line, right? 10 line first. Okay, so having done that, we were told that the angle, yeah, the angle it's actually making, yeah, from this area upward is what is 30 degrees. So, picking my 30, 60 degrees set square, I'm going to produce that now. Okay, so that is settled over there. And we are told that the mark from the top here down to the bottom here is what is 20. So from the apex, yeah, from the apex down here is what is mark 20, and that's the mark 20 there. So on that mark 20, I'm going to draw it what horizontally in this man. All right, so I can now form uh, my complete front elevation now as it stands. Okay, so I haven't done that now. So the very first question is to produce uh, the plan. So I'm going to produce the plan right now, the sectional plan of this particular front elevation. Okay, so how am I going to do that? From here, let me just pick mark of 10, mark of 10 in this manner. I'm going to do it in an orthographic projection manner, right? So I have to make it neat and uh, well arranged. All right, so the radius of diameter 52 is what is 26. So with my ruler and my compass, I measure radius 26. With radius 26, right on this mark here, I produce an arc in this manner. Can you see? Then with the same radius 26 to the midpoint here, right? So I produce what? A circle. Hope you can see. Hope you can see the circle. All right. So from the midpoint, drawing this horizontally and take note of the information we have here. It says what AC across corner. So with the same radius which I used to draw the circle, I'm going to place my compass right here. Strike an arc at the top and at the bottom in this manner. Then right here. Strike and act right here and what right here. Okay, so having it in that manner, I won't produce the hexagonal shape for now. Yeah, 
So I'm just going to draw the uh, diagonals, all right? I'm producing the diagonals first of all. So that's what I'm going to need now. All right, hope you can see, all right? So just follow suit. So we take note that uh, this mark of A here, yeah, this mark of A and right at uh, this junction both lie on the same plane, all right? And this other mark and mark B lie on the same plane, yes or no? So I'm going to label this area mark zero, mark one, mark two, mark three, mark four, mark five, and zero over six, all right? So at the base here, this is what zero over six here, okay? Because what this plane lies on the edge here, okay? So while this very first one here aligns yeah, with one and five here, which is this, can you see? So I will get this word, mark one over five, can you see? So this area here, two and four, aligns with this here. So I'm going to label this area, mark what, two over four. Then this last part, mark what, mark three. So just follow suit, just follow suit, all right? So what is the next procedure now? The next procedure is to get our sectional views here, yeah, to get our sectional views. Okay, so how do we do that? With my set square, with my set square from the top here, okay. So at this junction here, from the top there, so I'm going to what? Project it downward vertically, all right? I'm bringing it downward vertically. So this way it touches, I'm going to what? Asteric it. So this mark here on mark two and four, on mark two and four, all right? I'm going to go to bring it down vertically. So wherever it strikes uh, this diagonal for two and four, and tracing it out, this is it coming down here, this is it right here, and right here, all right? Just follow, yeah, don't be distracted, all right? So then this next mark here, this next mark here, so that's it over there. I'm going to, to pull it down vertically and on mark five and the other one here. Okay. Hope you are following. Then the last one, which is here. Okay, pull it down and that's it right here. So having it in that manner, I'm going to join them together. Okay, so since it is solid, so it is going to be what uh, section. So you section this area with your what, 45 degree set square. All right, so with my 45 degree set square, I section it out. All right, so it is set with as it is, but that's not all. So for this bottom part now, so we move. Okay, so this area is on point what point zero and six so i'm going to bring it down vertically at the bottom here so this is the first mark i'm going to asterisk it so this area right here that's the day i'm bringing it down also this is it right here and here and right here okay so please don't be distracted okay so for this next area here which is here okay right here so i'm going to what bring it downward downward so i'm having it right here and here and right here okay then uh, the bottom which is here so having it here right here so our sectional plan is going to be in this manner Okay, so then to complete it. All right, so that is our plan. That is our plan. 
kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you